Here's a test of faith for you, Sir Renton. I'll tell you my tale, and we'll see whether you want to tell me the Count's plans when I'm done. When I first took to the road, I was oh, ten, ten years of age. I had a lot of anger in me then, and a need to know how the world worked. You see, I'd watched the Count's men kill my brother William and slit Mother open, so I knew that the way I'd thought things were supposed to work was wrong. And of course, I fell in with bad sorts, didn't I? <laughs> I tried my hand at torture way back then, and I wondered if I was supposed to be evil. I thought maybe I'd had a message from God to take up the devil's work. And on that line, we caught Bishop Murillo down by Jedmire Hill. Now, I'm sure you already heard about the loss of his mission. But the brothers let me have the bishop, because I was something of a mascot to them back then. But Bishop Murillo was full of harsh words and judgment, and he had oh so much to tell me about hellfire and damnation. So we sat a while and discussed the business of souls. Then. I hammered a nail into his skull, just here. <laughs> and the bishop changed his tune after that. In fact, every time I hammered a new nail into him, he changed his tune. And after a while, he was a very different man. Did you know? that you can break a man down into his parts like that. One nail will bring back memories of childhood. Another make him rage or sob or laugh. In the end it seems we're just toys. Easy to break, but... <laughs> a little bit harder to mend. Hey, Sir Renton. I hear that the nuns down at St. Alstis still have Bishop Murillo in their care, but he's a very different person now. He clutches, claws, gropes at their habits and slurs awful things at them. Where the proud, pious soul of the man we took from that papal carriage is now. Well, I simply couldn't say. <laughs>